When a skiing accident left Sam Sullivan a quadriplegic, he almost gave up on himself. Then he seized an opportunity to change his life and the lives of thousands of people. Well, my accident was kind of a silly thing. I was bored and uh, decided I would try skiing between my friend's legs. And I did know that I was going to break something. You know, if I was, I kept skiing like I was, I assumed it would be a leg or something like that or an arm. Never thought it would be a neck. Well, after my injury, I spent a year and a half in rehab. And I tried to learn to be independent and then after seven years I finally hit a crisis. Either I was going to kill myself or I was going to get off welfare and do something. One of the technologies Britain is trying to sell is transportation for the disabled. This one-man boat can be sailed by a person who cannot walk. The Prime Minister presented a sail to representatives of Rick Hansen's Man in Motion World Tour. Rick Hansen had a sailboat that was donated to him by Margaret Thatcher. And I thought, well, oh, that's a pretty good pedigree. You know, what can I do with this? I was looking for a sport that I could do, that a severely disabled person could do and compete with less severely disabled people and even, even able-bodied people. When I started this, Disabled sailing was not really a sport, and it wasn't really um, taken seriously. But people would, you know, smile at me, but you know they would kind of roll their eyes as they were turning their head. You know. <laughs> Fortunately, I was able to find some people. We put together an organization and started to try and. Um, you know, find volunteers, find people who were interested in sailing, and then raising money. And so that became my thing, really, is to find the money. Sam's got the stealth approach. You never know that his hand's even been in your pocket when he asks you for ideas or time or money. Uh, and as a matter of fact, when you turn around and you find that your wallet isn't in your pocket anymore, that it's in Sam's hand, uh, he looks at you, gives you that stupid smile of his, and... Uh, and, uh, and you find yourself thanking him for giving it back to you. This fellow had doggedly gone on the trail with a vision of putting people on the water sailing, especially high quads. You know, people with severe disabilities. I found that, you know, there's so many people that once they saw your you have a vision, some sort of a dream. People love that, and they love to be involved. And so it's really the people who have put their energy and been willing to, you know, just roll up their sleeves and start doing something. That's truly the most amazing thing to me of all this, all that work that goes into this thing. The experience of sailing was really quite a powerful metaphor for me. The wind could be against me, the waves could be against me, and yet I could turn the negative power and actually make it propel me forward. By challenging yourself in another part of your life, you can you can just feel so much. Seeing people grow and, and overcome their disabilities and their challenges through Sam is a great reward to me. The thing that's driven me a lot is to want to play a role in life, to be a participant, not just a spectator, and to make things happen.
perfect comeback. Etta cracks wise. How do you control the boat? Well, what I use is a sip and puff control. So I use this device here to, uh, to sip and puff to bring the sail in. Uh, I also switch channels by biting this ring to, to then get onto helm so then I can steer the boat. So I've got full control of the boat. So if you were to come sailing with me, you wouldn't do anything. Before finding the disabled sailing program at the Jericho Sailing Center, Emily Anderson could only stand on the shore and wonder what sailing was all about. But since finding the program, which is partially funded by the CKNW Orphans Fund, Emily has found a whole new love in her life. It's a time that I get to go on the ocean a whole bunch of times, and I like being on the ocean. Emily suffers from a condition known as spina bifida, which limits her ability to do many of the things that regular kids take for granted. However, through initiatives like this one, Emily and others like her are able to have just as much fun in spite of their physical limitations. Just seeing everyone on a daily basis in the summer and the smiles that it brings to everyone's faces and seeing the sense of community and the, the happy environment around here, I think it's a really important thing for people. And the program helps more than just kids. It's also helped adults with physical challenges to get out onto the water. Well, it was great. Actually, before my injury, I'd never even been sailing before. And I started to take a white sail course here, which enables you to be able to eventually go sailing on your own. Giving anyone with a taste for the sea the opportunity to be a part of the action.